good morning guys welcome back to the build so if you're new to the channel let me tell you what we're doing so this is a hummer h2 we're rebuilding it i've owned this for about three years now so what i want to do to it what i have done to it so far we've put a lift kit new suspension new hubs new brakes we've powder coated the calipers we've painted all the underside we put new wheels, new side steps. We've got the back wheels on now. That has come up high. Look at the clearance I've got on the arch now. You can see all the suspension components under there. You can see the frame. You couldn't see any of that before. Now, off the top of the tyre to the bottom of the arch, 15 inches. Wow. I am impressed. That looks incredible. I'm so happy with that. Yeah. Right, let's get the front on. We're gonna lift this front end about three or four inches just so they line up with those holes and that's how much we've lifted it by I don't know if you can tell you probably can't from that angle but she's tilting down massively so once we get these front wheels on and lift that front end up it'll left let out So we've got the torque wrench out and we have set it to 86 newtons of torque. That would be recommendation. Put that in my pocket. Last bolt. Perfect. We've got all the wheels back on now. So this is the centre cap, what went on there. Now, I'm going to take this apart, take that piece off. I think I want to paint all the outer ring. I'm going to mask up all the centre, leave that, and paint the outside. Same colour as this, the blue, and you can see on the valve, the blue. Just to match in with everything. Yeah, I'm going to paint that. So at the rear end, up to the bottom of the arch, we've got about 1160. Now at the front, we're just shy. We need to lift it up another 10 mil to get it level. So when I was fitting that cross member there, and I had to put the ratchet strap around to pull it tight, somebody commented saying it'd push my axle that way, because I've lifted it, I need to extend that bar. So, that's how much that tyre sticks out. And that's how much that one sticks out. Quite a big difference. So just roughly, we've got about three inches stuck out there. Come to that side. And we've got four and a half, five. So we've stuck out quite a bit more. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that diagonal bar back off. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to extend it the distance I need so it'll bring the axle back in line. That's going to do it for today. It's getting on now, getting dark, getting cold. But we've got the wheels back on. They look great. The suspension, wow, that's really picked her up. Now the front end still needs lifting up maybe 10, 15 mil just to get it same as the back. But I'll, I'll crank the bolts on the torsion keys. I'll push that up. That won't be an issue. That's a tomorrow job though, not tonight. Too cold. So we're going to get packed up now, get stuff put away and we're going to call it. We'll come back out in the morning. Crack on. Peace out. A bit of wax on wax off motion. It comes off quite easily. We've got our top section washed now, our back end washed. This needs a bit of a wash, but we're going to do that later. I'm going to concentrate on the top. We're going to start wet sanding work us way down. And I'll clean that off as I get to it. Morning guys, welcome back. We're out in tent this morning. We're working on the body. We need to get this into primer. So I've been wet sanding it for about six, seven hours last night and the night before. So we've got pretty far with it, we've done all this side. Plenty of residue. You can see on tire there and across here. It's all dripped down onto it. So we've done all this side, we've done the back, we've done the roof, and I'm just working my way around. We've still got this front section to do, and that's what we're gonna work on now. So I'm using some 360 grit wet and dry paper. Bucket of nice warm soapy water. I'm not going to apply too much pressure, just a light sand. We're only trying to scuff up the paintwork so the primer will stick. I'm not trying to sand it back to the body or anything. I don't want to rush it and have a shit paint job, so it's got to be magnifico. We get quite a lot of condensation forming up at the top and dripping down onto the car now i can't paint this if it's getting dripped on so i've got a big roll of plastic here got a bag of tie wraps and we're gonna plastic all the way around and we're gonna stop any water dripping down We've now got a second sheet all the way down that side. I'm just using duct tape and tie wraps to hold it all in place. There's no wind in here, so it's not gonna blow about. I'll get a couple of tie wraps up that side, and then we're gonna work on that full back section. We've got a second skin up inside the tent now, so we should have no more issues with condensation dripping. We've wiped all the fear kill down, got all the debris and muck off. So what I'm going to do now is mask up all the areas I don't want to get paint on. And then I'm going to degrease it with some panel wipe. Go over it with a tack cloth, just get any last little bits off. 
and then we're into primer. So this is where we're at so far. We've got the rear wheels all masked up, front wheels all across the front of the bumper. That wheel's done. We've got the rear wheel at the back. So all I've got left is under there. Same on that side. And we've just got across that back end there to mask up. We're getting there. Good morning guys and welcome back. So last night we finished getting everything masked up, taped up, all the windows are masked up, I've cleaned everything down. So all we need to do now is go over it with some panel greaser, get any last little bits off, hit it with a tack cloth and then we're into primer. So an hour's time we're going to be spraying. I've took my paint in the house to keep that nice and warm so once I'm ready for it, it's ready to go. So far, we've got the roof painted, we've come along, we've painted all the front, we've painted three quarters of that side, we got to the last panel, we've painted all the back, this side's still got to be done. So that's the roof all painted. So we've got about three quarters of the way through painting the Hummer. The compressor's cut out, it's got too hot, constantly running, so I'm going to leave that for half hour, let it cool down, and then we'll come back out and we'll go again. So we're on the way to Machine Mart, where I bought the air compressor from, seven months back. Yeah, it's not overheated, it's bloody burnt out. Putting it in that box, what a bad idea. But, you know, you live and learn, don't you? It's going to be an expensive mistake. It's still under warranty, you get a year's warranty with all products from Machine Mart. But I don't know where my receipt is, so probably won't get the warranty. I'll probably end up buying a new one. But I'm going to get them to send it off for me. If I can repair it, I'll repair it. I'll buy a new one in the meantime. And once I get that back, I'll try to get a refund on the new one while I have a receipt for. That's the plan. But we'll see how that goes. So we've just picked up a new compressor. We had to buy a new one, we had no choice, we've got to finish spraying. But it was still under warranty, so they took it, no problem. It went in for repair. I'll get that back in a couple of weeks, no doubt. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can return the new one once I get the old one back, but if not, I'm stuck with two. But it's just cost me 350 quid. What can you do, eh? That's, that's an expensive lesson learned. Don't put your compressor in a box. Don't do what Rob did. So we've got rid of that box which I made for the corner. Put the new compressor in. Hopefully we have no more issues and we're free to paint. That's going to do it for today guys, we got most of it painted today, we mess about with compress going to get a new one, I lost too much time, it's getting dark now so 
but we'll come back out in the morning, we'll finish painting it, get a second coat on it, see how far we get. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.